Hi everyone, I'm so happy to announce that the IB Biology Revision Guide has finally been written. I've been working on this for over a year and a half. The IB is a beast, particularly high level IB, and this is why it's taken so long to write because you know all my revision guides are based on perfect exam answers, so I have gone through hundreds of past papers to make sure that the notes that I've written for you contain those perfect exam worded answers. The IB guide is available for both standard level and higher level candidates. It's available in our online shop at sciencepazel.com. So if you've ever purchased the guides for IGCSE and GCSE, you'll find the IB biology guide there. Other exam boards, don't worry, we're coming for you. We just need to do lots of edits to make sure that the revision guides are perfect for your exam board. As always, these revision guides are available for download, which means you'll be able to access them immediately. They are not hard copies. You will get a copy directly emailed to you as a PDF. So make sure you save that immediately because you have a limited number of downloads. They also come fully illustrated, which is a huge thing for us. Anyone familiar with the guides knows that currently our guides aren't illustrated, the IB one is, and obviously that's super important when it comes to more difficult topics such as respiration, photosynthesis, the sound membrane, etc. You will find diagrams with all the detail you need. Obviously with IB you're expected to draw things like the motor neuron, the cell surface membrane, an animal cell, a plant cell, so we've given you our version of what you need to draw to school full marks. Also to help you with the IB I'm going to be doing more paper talk throughs. So I'll be focusing firstly on paper two, that data response question, which I know lots of people find very hard, as well as the extended answer questions. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, but we are super excited that this guide is written and we can't wait to hear what you think about it.